This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Greetings and salutations, viewers of All of My Back here with the spooky Halloween game for you. Ooh, yeah, it's how it's well, it's not quite Halloween, but it's it's the start of the scary season, and October is upon us. And this time, it's Resident Evil Zero. Well, we, we could have seen the demo. We, we don't need to see that. Uh, it's Resident Evil Zero, the last of the kind of classic Resident Evils before they kind of. I mean, they were already starting to become actiony, but this is before Resident Evil Four where the game kind of turned into a completely different beast after after that point. So, And I'm kind of trying to play the games in order. I know I've missed like one or two of the like spin-off shooters, like Dead Aim, which I actually do own that one. I might do that depending on if I finish this game before the October is over, or maybe save it for next year, if I can get a good setup for it. But uh, yeah, Resident Evil Zero. So you ever want to know what happened to uh, Rebecca Chambers before Resident Evil 1? What do you mean you don't remember me playing uh, Chris and, and Rebecca's story from Resident Evil One? Yeah, I forgot to I forgot to make time to like do both Jill's and Chris's. For some reason, I just did Jill's and then played Resident Evil Two the next year, and I didn't even do Claire's path on that one too. So I'll try to make it up either this year if I finish this game relatively quickly, or next year and just try to complete all the stuff I didn't finish. But uh, for now, it's Resident Evil Zero, which did some new mechanics as well as uh, almost kind of retcons. Rebecca's like personality and stuff it, because well while we play this game and then we meet in Resident Evil 1 which t this takes place before Resident Evil 1 and she goes through all the stuff you know spoilers she goes through the stuff and then she ends up in Resident Evil 1 and you're like wait that's that's not really that shouldn't be the same girl from between the both games but and eh, whatever let's start the game and just see how this game starts out and we'll just go with easy or <laughs> easy we'll go with normal mode Resident Evil 0 all right, uh, and we'll just use whatever we're using currently. We'll use the alternative, which is what's uh, being used for my uh, controller setup since I'm not playing on a GameCube. Oh, and this is the re this is the remastered or whatever version that they did uh, years later. So this is a bit different from the uh, GameCube one, which I do own the GameCube one. I thought about recording that one, but um, it's just like, yeah, let's just do the improved. Well, I don't know if I'd say improved, but let's just do the more modern take on it. So. And of course, subtitles, because. A Midwestern town in America, Raccoon City, a solitary island far off in the sea, Rockfort Island, an island that would become the second Raccoon City, Sheena Island. There are still many unanswered questions about these seemingly unrelated yet intensely traumatic events. Though it is believed that the international enterprise umbrella was somehow involved, little is known as to the origin of this faceless corporation. When was it established? By whom? And how was the T-Virus created? To uncover the truth, we must delve deeper into the events which transpired in the beginning, before the mansion incident. Do you think so too? Yeah. Do about it. Hold off for a while. I wonder how those are people react to this.
began as a simple investigation of some bizarre murders in the suburbs of Raccoon City. Nothing in our training could ever have prepared us for the nightmare that ensued. We never stood a chance. What's going on? Engine failure! Emergency landing! Check the current position and investigate the surrounding area. Captain, look! <gasps> Captain! Hmm? What happened? Court order for transportation. Prisoner Billy Cohen, ex-lieutenant, 26 years old. Court martialed and sentenced to death July 22nd. Prisoner is to be transferred to the Ragathon base for execution. Those poor soldiers. They were good men just doing their jobs, and that scum murdered them and escaped. All right, everyone. Let's separate and survey the area. Our friend is brutal and ruthless. Keep your guard up. We finally started the game after that. Oh, the remaster edition doesn't look bad, although I do have like one of the highest end graphic cards you can have for this. Yeah, I, if I spent my money, I'd go big. Well, until they just recently announced the uh, was it the 380s or whatever. Dang it! I just bought this card last year. Anyway, we play as Rebecca Chambers from I think Bravo Team is the uh, is the group or whatever. So uh, she starts with uh, some guns, camp ammo and her mixing set for um let's check that out the mixing set a set of tools used to mix and prepare medicines yeah she's the medic of the group and she's quite tiny too have you seen her model look at that but anyway let's uh, examine the gun Ooh, it even says stars on it rpd special forces very nice so we got the stars no wait that's the wrong game all right and then wait did it actually Oh, the standard equipment for Stars officials even shows how it shoots. That's kind of neat. And then let's look at the bullets. Ooh, Parabellum, 9mm. Nice. Luger, high-powered bullets for handguns. Is that what is that what boxes say? Oh, can I even actually read the, uh, uh, sort of, made in, it says made in the USA. Made in the USA, hell yeah! Uh, okay. And then, okay. Let's see, do we have any files to start with? Yeah, we got the player's manual. Uh, oh, court order for transportation. That's for Billy Cohen's thing. Court order for transportation, 1598A7635. Billy Cohen, DU1036, former second uh, lieutenant, Marine Corps, 2659, 163 pounds. Transfer destination, Rega Regarthon, Regarthon or Regathon? Regarthon? Hmm. Regarthon. Anyway, convicted of first-degree murder, court-martialed, sentenced to death by 03033rd Military Tribunal, sentenced to be carried out upon arrival. Samuel Regan, commander, Doodle Marine Base, apparently killed some people. 
and then there's the player's manual there. Um, yeah, we played the events before Resident Evil 1, so apparently it wasn't uh, whatever was going on in the mansion. It was uh, something to do with like whatever's going on with this train and during that cutscene with the edgelord there, like about looks like slugs or something like that. So anyway, since I'm using the, uh, I don't have to use the little directional pad since I'm playing the uh, uh, PC version of the game. It would be the same if I... I also have a PS4 version of that. The reason I have two different versions is luggage lies strewn about the cabin. The seats are stained with blood. The only reason I have uh, both is because um, I have... A long time ago, it was, like a, uh, it was like a Humble Bundle or whatever. It was like the Capcom Humble Bundle, and it was like 20 bucks, and it gave me like every single Resident Evil, like the remakes and everything with that. And I was like, well, I'll have a pros posterity just in case. Uh, and there's that one guy's case, but we can't... Uh, check it so okay they're just all repeating so before we go through that door let's check the initial area here and yeah, they're all repeating themselves uh, okay at least they kept her outfit the same so it's consistent between the two games at least but yeah like when you meet i mean for spoilers well if you've already played resident evil 1 you already know what's going to happen to everyone i'm not going to say if you don't know but this is officer chambers from stars bravo team please identify yourself is someone there the Uh-oh. Bad news bears! Bad news bears! Stay down! Oops, wrong button. Stay down, you punk! I'm a member of STARS! But yeah, oh, you, by the way, use the shoulder buttons for, uh, for attacking and holding down. Yes, yeah, so the great thing about the remaster and on the PC is that there's... the tank controls are not... not quite there, you know? What just happened? I, I thought they were dead. Well, that was a weird transition. Well, they're dead now. Anyway, yep. Yeah. Let's uh, reload our weapon before we uh, by combining them, just like in the previous games. Yeah, the first time she saw a zombie, she kind of uh, took that to pretty quick. Then again, I think uh, Jill and Chris take it pretty quickly too. They're like, "Oh, we're gonna attack! All right, shoot him!" You know. Anyway, let's go back in the room before we were so rudely interrupted. The rain outside is quickly turning into a downpour. I mean, I do like, uh, this is before, obviously this is the remake, but yeah, this game came out after, uh, before Resident Evil 4, and I think that that's when they did the remakes for, like, 1, uh, not too long after 4 came out, if I recall. Uh, but yeah, this is the last of the series before they become super action-packed. Um, that's kind of good and bad. I kind of... I have a love-hate relationship with, like, Resident Evil 4. Like, I love the game, but I hate what it turned the series into, if you get my meaning. Anyway, we get a ink ribbon, a staple for the, or at least the original Resident Evil series, and a green herb. Investigation orders. Stained with blood. Some sections are eligible. Eight miles north of Raccoon City in the Arclay Mountains lies our comp... comp knees management training facility. That is probably blood on that. It was shut down years ago... Now we are conducting a preliminary 2D into reopening of the facilities. First investigation unit is all already on site and opening t t investigation. I want yo our team to provide support. <laughs> it's hard to almost not say the what it's actually meaning because you know better. The following orders re will embark and first. L viz got zero U N T. The rest is torn and unreadable. I think it's mentioning uh, uh, some characters from Resident Evil Two. I think as well in here. Um, yeah, this this game almost doesn't like really flow with the other series because of the the what it adds and explains and does. But uh, I somewhat enjoy this game. I'll definitely admit it's not my favorite Resident Evil game. Using this on top row, where do you record your progress? And let's check the... Oops. Oh, nope. But back up. Back up. And the green herb. Ooh. An herb native to this area. It can be used to recover health. Ooh. 
All right. Anything else in here? Nope. Oh, uh, let's see. What else can I show? I don't think we have... We don't have a map yet, do we? Or at least not a full map. One that we can find. So, uh, like in previous games, green doors are ones we can uh, uh, go through. And then um, red doors are ones that are currently locked at, at the time. So. And then, oh, you see a button up there that says partner. Nah, forget about it. It's not important at all. We, we won't need to worry about that. So, just forget that thing ever existed. Wait, did I not go... Did I somehow skip the one door over the other? Okay. Well, somehow I did. There doesn't seem to be any use. Well, okay then. Passenger's Diary, July 14th. Orders came from the boss today. Looks like we're in charge of investigating the remains of the Arclay Mountains lab Laboratory. We're moving into two groups. The initial group is assigned to start checking what's left of the abandoned equipment. July 16th. Unfortunately, the test production of BOW Type Y139 had to be suspended because of this investigation. It's the same with Type Y139. There's still so much we don't know about responses of the crustacean T-virus. There's a lot of interesting research left. Depending on the species and nurturing conditions, only minute, minute doses of tea bring about remarkable changes in solidity, size, multiplication of internal toxins, and brain development. If these effects can be controlled, a powerful weapon could be produced. But the sudden development of the shell results in a corresponding fragility. Certain areas become exceedingly weak. Problematically, one of these areas is the head carapace. This lab we are going this lab we are going to we were they presuming the same research? It would certainly help to find data and samples that would help us in our research. June nineteenth. The day is finally approaching. I'm growing more anxious. The Raccoon City newspaper and T V stations are full of reports about the bizarre murders in the suburbs. It can't be the T virus, can it? If it is no, I can't think of that now. I have to concentrate on the investigation and make sure it goes smoothly. Yeah, the only problem with that, like, if you play this game in actual order of the how the game is designed to be, or in story order, it almost spoils a lot of stuff for Resident Evil 1. Like, you know, like, what is the T-Virus? Like, we don't learn about that immediately. It takes a little while before we learn that. Um, and then what it means and everything. This just straight up tells us everything. Oh, sorry. Um, the rain is beating fiercely against the window. I wonder how long it'll last. Well, until you die. Oh, sorry. The poor guy must have been attacked in his sleep. His body's covered in slime. Yeah, wait till you find out what the big big to do about this. Actually, I think I already mentioned it earlier, but let's just pretend. It's a finally tailored suit. There's nothing in the pockets. Nope. Uh, also, on this the computer or, P or or PlayStation 4 version of this game, you could actually buy DLC for that fit, uh, uh, for the game and put uh, um, Rebecca and... Uh, in different outfits and whatnot, but uh, I'm not going to pay money for that. I should be able just to lock in a game. You can still unlock stuff in game, but luggage lies strewn about the cabin, but you don't get to unlock as much as you would if you didn't buy all the extra content, which uh, one of the few things I hate about modern gaming. The can't be open. The uh, door reads conductor's office, so we need a conductor's key. I'm not as familiar with this game as I was when I was playing like, Resident Evil 1, so I probably won't be speed running through this game. There's a card reader here. Looks like the door will open if you have the right card. Well, like anything, you always need the right card. The train employee's corpses have been brutally torn apart. He's holding something. Let's look at ever so close to him and check it out. Take the train key. Billy. Lieutenant Cohen. So, you seem to know me. Been fantasizing about me, have you? You're the prisoner that was being transferred for execution. You were with those soldiers outside. Oh, I see. You're with stars. Well, no offense, honey, but your kind doesn't seem to want me around. So, I'm afraid our little chat time is over. Wait! You're under arrest! No thanks, Dollface. I've already worn handcuffs. I could shoot, you know. Edward! Are you alright? What happened? It's worse than... We can't. You must be careful, Rebecca. The, the forest is full of... Zombies and monsters. 
zombies and monsters. Well, Edward got taken out really quick. Oh, maybe that's why we never see Edward in uh, in the um, uh, in Resident Evil One. I don't want to keep shooting because I don't. There we go. Sweet. Is there any more of you? Up oh, more of them. Ah, nuts! Get off me, you bastard! You bastard! Ow! Ow. It's like in the previous game, I'd always get, like, frickin' dicked by the dogs. Okay, there we go. Oh yeah, I, I keep forgetting that the, that this version, they t removed the tank controls, so when I, when I moved down, I was actually starting to press four, uh, t up on my, on my control stick, and I'm like, no, this version doesn't have the tank controls, you gotta remember that. Edward, you are so happy just a few hours ago. He's holding something. No, oh, handgun ammo. And we're already at caution. Great. Yeah, the dogs always seem to do that. Like, almost hardly anything else does, but whatever reason, the dogs are always the ones that get me to caution the fastest, you know. Oh, well. Anyway, let's check these keys that we got from that one dude. There's something written on the tag. All right. It reads dining car. And if you could flip it over, but yeah, you can tell it's... It's kind of cool. You can actually see the details on these. Ooh. Anyway, yeah, I don't think it... I'm trying to remember. It's been a while since I've looked at the 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 Raccoon City Police Department um, uh, picture of all the characters, um, so I don't remember. I remember the the captain at uh, Eduardo or whatever, but uh, um, and uh, like Joseph and a few others. But I'll admit it's been a few years since I played the Resident Evil games. Well, I mean, the last time I played a Resident Evil game was last year. So, huh? You know what? Do you have your ticket? No ticket? Well, that's what you get. No ticket. What? You have a ticket? No, I don't believe you. Okay. Oh. Die. Yeah, sorry. I couldn't, do, I couldn't really do a super funny, like, no ticket joke. I was trying to. But, oh well. Technically, I could probably skip just, like, you know, uh, defeating all these guys because uh, this game has like kind of like in previous uh, other Resident Evil games where it only has um through the window you see broken ladder it's of no use right now um you can you'll get to certain areas and after a point we'll um we won't come back here so so it's almost like you could probably skip a lot of zombies to save ammo I, re I think if I remember correctly this Resident Evil is a little bit more challenging than others just because of the gameplay style and the partner system and stuff like that. Ugh. They look like some kind of eggs. A puddle of slime is formed around them. It's a diagram of the training layout. The label reads, Passage to First Class Cabin. There's an antique pho style phone. The line has been cut, rendering it useless. Okay, well, let's grab the... Oh, actually, do I want to grab that yet? Hold on. I'm, more, I'm almost out of room already. Let's hold on to it while we'll to we're not going to leave the train quite yet, so I can... Um, they look like some kind of eggs. Now we already know. I can't get in there, so I'll need something to... So I'll have to come back here anyway, so... I don't want to fill out my inventory quite yet. But yeah, if I remember correctly, I did have a... Like, the other games have their difficulties and whatnot, but I, I think I remember it a few times in this game. I actually had some trouble. Uh, but I don't quite recall. When was the last time I played Zero? God, it's been quite a few years. This is Rebecca. Over. Rebecca, get ready. This is Rico. What's your location? Over. Enrico! Hello! Can you read me? Please respond. Rebecca, I can hear you. Now listen up. We've obtained detailed information on the fugitive from a document found in the wrecked wagon. Billy Cohen killed as many as 23 people. Over. Twenty-three people. We have also confirmed that he was institutionalized, so keep your guard up. Can you hear me, Rebecca? Over. Stay alert, Rebecca. He wouldn't think twice before killing you. Enrico! Captain! Hello? Hello! Shouldn't you tell him about... Or, I guess because you could hardly hear him, I was like, why don't you tell him about what happened to Edward? He's dead, you know. Anyway. 
Oh, well. But yeah, his name's Enrico. I don't know why I called him Eduardo earlier. Whoops. <laughs> and we can't leave the cabin. We can't just... I haven't finished search of the train. Oh. You don't have to be here, you know. Did I, uh... I was about to say, did I, uh, fill up my bullet yet? Wait, did that even hit? I think it did, but it just didn't seem to, didn't seem to register. And unfortunately, since I don't have a knife, I would be using that to finish him off, but... Jeez, yeah. you took quite a few bullets. What, are you made out of spongy material? Stay down. All right, now we can actually go into the dining car. Yeah, if I went this way earlier, I would have. It would have just been. Yep. I. Uh, it would have just said, "Hey, you can't get through here." So I was just trying to break up that little. I'm like, "Man, eh, we don't need to do this." It's going to be dangerous from here on in. Why don't we cooperate? Cooperate with you? Listen, little girl, if you haven't noticed, there's some pretty freaked out things on this train. And I, for one, want to get out of here. I don't think we stand a chance doing it alone. You expect me to trust you, a wanted felon? I don't need your help. I can handle this on my own. And don't call me little girl. All right, Miss Do-It-Yourself. What should I call you? The name is Rebecca Chambers, but that's Officer Chambers to you. Well then, Rebecca, why don't you go and try while I wait here? I don't know why she seems like, Rebecca seems to be a bit, like, in the first Raven Evil game, she she seems a bit more like a wallflower type of character. I don't know, they almost like change her personality a little bit in this game. Looks like an automatic door. There's no power now, so it won't open. Yeah, Billy seems to be not as the cutthroat guy as they seem to be. Maybe things aren't well as... Then, Rebecca. Why don't you go and try while I wait here? I will try, because I'm a member of STARS. Notice the supervisors. While closing the dining car, supervisor asked to switch off the automatic doors after ensuring all staff evacuated the car. The main automatic door power switch is located on the roof of the fifth car. Inspections will take place when the train is garaged. After your inspections are complete, use the ladder at the rear of the second floor of the dining car. Umbrella Corps Maintenance Department. Anyway, after reading, Cohen's like, are you going to sit there the whole time reading that? Yes. It's good to read. It's good to be the queen. All right, well, a half-eaten meal sits on the table. Mm. Counter is littered with slips of paper listing customers' orders. Excuse me, sir. Sir. <gasps> oh, God. Run. that guy uh. what's going on who's controlling the train go and check out the first engine car listen 
We gotta cooperate with each other from now on. You got that? Well, I don't... Clue in, girl. Or maybe you like being worm bait. All right. But you just remember, I will shoot you if you try anything funny. Fine. Now take these with you. If you find anything, give me a call, all right? It's almost kind of insane how like easy it is in like some of these games for people just to jump on board. Like Rebecca's like, "Oh God, this you know a slime creature thing," and then Billy just goes, oh, "I'll just shoot it. It's fine. No, no surprise or anything." You know, I mean, not that I want them to do that every time, but you know, it's it's always funny. Character switching. You can switch between two lead characters, Rebecca and Billy, and use their different abilities to progress through the game. Yeah, this game introduces the partner system, which they never use again, by the way. Um, and the problem I have with the partner system is that it kind of turns a, the horror genre, you know, the whole point of a horror genre is that you're by yourself and trying to go up against the odds and survive the encounters and everything. But then all of a sudden they add an extra character and it almost kind of loses a lot of the horror thriller aspect of it because you have a secondary character with you, so you're not truly alone. So, I don't know. It's a, it's a toss-up. It depends on the game, really. The character you currently control is the, called the main character, and the character you do not control is called the partner character. Controlling the partner character. The partner character generally moves independently, but you can use the R uh, right trigger to control, or right um, analog stick to control them. Selecting partner on the stat screen allows you to assign instructions to the character. Solo, both teams move independently. Team partner follows the main character. Attack partner attacks automatically. Auto partner will not attack. You can also switch the back button to switch between solo and team behavior, or whatever button your keyboard or whatever however you're playing. I'm playing through via controller. Switching characters, press the Y, or in my case, triangle, because I'm using a PS4 controller. Uh, you will need to switch characters in order to progress in certain situations. Exchanging items. When your partner character is nearby, you can exchange items on the status screen. Choose the item from the, item, the main character's item box and select exchange. Character attributes. Rebecca. Rebecca has the following attributes. Can combine herb-related items. Weak defense. Because she's a girl. No. Because uh, she's... she's. Well, I mean, look at her. Her frame is so small. You know. Uh, can use a mixing set to combine chemicals. Characters attributes Billy. Billy is the following attributes. Cannot combine herbal aid items because... Wait, but the characters from the previous games could all do it without a kit. Now we need kits to do it? Well, it gives game. Uh, strong offense. Can push many large objects because he's a man. A man. A man, man, man. If the partner character is attacked, both main character and partner characters will die if they take too much damage. You should always keep an eye on their condition. Yeah, that's another thing I, I forgot. Is that if you don't... You gotta take uh, care of precautions to pay attention to them, otherwise they could take too much damage and use your resources, so. At least if you're by yourself, you know what you're getting into, but a partner being attacked in a different room will call for help over the radio. If your partner does call, go to them as quickly as possible. Cooperating with your partner. Some puzzles cannot be solved by only one character. When you're stuck, try to see if using your partner will help. So, yeah, that's probably why I'm not the biggest fan of the um, partner mechanic in general. Um, because of that but i mean it's not the worst thing it's just i remember i think i do remember some issues because of the partner but then again that's the old version i don't know if the remastered edition like fixed the some of the issues with that ai and some of that half eaten meal sits on the table it might have now we can go upstairs if we want to although they did say to swap out so uh, or check different places this is the chair where th that monster was sitting it's covered in slime. I'm trying to remember if you can actually beat the uh, creature by yourself. Um, it's been forever since I played it, so I don't recall. I think if I think if y if you can, it's just a waste of resources at this point. It's locked from the other side. Okay. I'll go. Yeah. And then we can. Uh, and then basically, I can leave Billy as is if I want to just stick here. So you press like the uh, I press the L, the le or right trigger. And switch to uh, um, switch to or, uh, switch to solo mode. And if I press another button, I can switch to um, Rebecca, or I switch back to Billy and stuff like that. Let's look at the map. Uh, so you said to go to the train car up ahead. Yeah, the, it shows Billy there. Um, which actually, 
It's usually best because since we don't have to worry about like being um, chased off by like certain. Oh yeah, you can also swap by pressing the triangle on the map there. But it's almost better to like leave a character in a um, a spot that you know there's no one in there, or like in certain rooms or save spots or save places and stuff like that. So you can be like, okay, they'll never get attacked in here, so I don't have to worry about that. Hey, what a what items does he have? Let's see. Uh, a standard army issue handgun. Okay. Oh, and he's like a he's like Chris. Oh, he uses par parabellum rounds. Uh, he also use he also he's like Chris from the first game, or I forgot who has who has the knife in the second game. Is it Claire that gets into that one? But anyway, it's like Chris from the first game where he get he starts off with a knife, but in this case he has a knife and a gun. But, ooh, a knife designed for self defense. Okay, and then we can choose to, yeah, choose the solo team or whatever mode and whatnot, so. Let me get out of the rain here for a second, let me go back. Yeah, we'll get slower given all that, yeah. I just want to get out of the rain for a second, uh, just to pause it, but, uh, looks like Rebecca's new, uh, new story is about to unfold. What will she experience through her journey? And what about this Billy Cohen character? Is he to be trusted? Find out next time in the next episode of Resident Evil Zero. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.